We glorify you. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. We just welcome in this service this morning, Lord God. Let it flow through the pastor, Lord God. Let it flow through us, Lord, so we can go out to this world, Lord, and just be a representation. Be a light to you, Lord. Lord, we love you. We glorify you. We lift you up this morning. In Jesus' name, I pray. Lift up your name, Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah, it's wrong, Lord.
Song lean back. Woo. That's right. Mm. Got to. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. To, to the, the work pod already which was like the first step in getting into work release and uh, it usually takes months to go there so I mean it's like uh, the, I woke up that morning they like rolling up you're going to Lee County Road crew so I'm already out here in this area dude, picking up trash in this area like I passed this shop five or six times I'm like that's, wow. what, that's what work that's what work you know and, uh, you know passing all the houses that I've been working at in board guard and uh, I hit the Sims up she's like the first thing she says was you're denied so that's why I get a work release. She's like, denied. She's like, you got to put in some time. And I'm like, I just got out. I just did 13 months in here. And uh, she's like, I don't care. And then uh, <laughs> last night when she put my, 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 my new little jewelry on, uh, she's like, I really like your boss. So if you mess up, she's like, you'll never go to work release. I said, like, I'm not coming back to jail. <laughs> and she's like, I really like your boss. She's like, I'm a God-fearing woman. She's like, if you mess this up, she's like, I'm going to get you. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm not going to mess this up. I'm like, I love my job. I'm like, I love the people I work for. And she's like, well, I really like them. She's like, so if you mess this up, I'm just telling you, it's going to be over for you. You're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. She told Josh that thing. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, I, I called I, well, <laughs> Natasha Brown. So you're saying Sims. Yeah, well, yeah. I think that's her old name. Yeah, I think that's her, her old yeah, name. Maybe. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I called her, and uh, she was like, yeah, no problem. He's qualified. I'll have him over there Monday, she told me. Yeah, yeah. She gets, she gives <laughs> she us sick. heck, you know. She's like uh, a... Yeah. What she does is she uh, she pushes our buttons because I guess she wants to see how we're gonna act. Yeah. Like, cause like when I Come first on. put in, she said denied. Like, and she was rude about it. it was denied, not, not rude That's about it in the sense to where she was out of line, but she wanted to see how I was gonna do <laughs> while I was on work detail. If I was gonna be like yeah. f this man, blah blah. Which you know, and I've been yeah. in there before, so I, I kind of know how she works, you know. And I was just like, I tell you what, God, this ain't my business. This is Abel and her end on it. Uh, I put in my request that I want to go. I know that Josh and Chris that take care of everything on their end with, with her. So I didn't bother. I didn't keep hitting her up saying, please let me go to work release. I figured God will work it out. I seen the way everything was going. I went straight to work detail, straight over to the work pause. And I was like, I know God's going to do something for me. I know Josh and him is going to do something for me. And uh, I just kind of sat back, man, and been just religiously praying. And, uh, 
Lean back, huh? Uh, but I, I don't like. So there's a valid lesson here. Ready? <coughs> that you, on your own, when you're in sin, have no power or influence whatsoever. Yeah. But once you got into the righteousness of God, imputed to you by Christ, mm. favor came. Right. And that opened doors Woo. that was usually a no was an immediate yes. Yeah. Wow. This is something big yeah. for you to get and understand oh, how yeah. good it feels yeah. to be right. Yeah. To be yeah. righteous. Yeah. 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 And, and, and to know where it's coming from and how it's coming. Jesus. Um, yeah, I mean, right. like I said, I already know. Like I said, I, I, without a shadow of a doubt, because uh, you know, like I said, I just left this place. So I know how it works. And then uh, the same people that are in the work pod that I was in picking up trash with, that are still begging, pleading, getting their bosses to call, getting their family to call, still trying to make it across the hall to work. They're like, "Man, how you going so quick?" And I'm like. Jesus. And I'm like, hey, you know, you know, I've been telling y'all about this place I'm working for, Abel. I'm like, look, man, I'm telling y'all there's something about this, you know. I'm like, this is real stuff, you know. And they're like, and I'm like, this is real. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I'm telling you, man. I'm like, this is some real stuff going on in my life. And they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I'm, I'm going through some stuff. I'm like, you know, this, this is some real stuff. I don't mean like, you know, like this stuff that y'all, because everybody in there is like an epidemic and then they're smoking this stuff called paper. And they're calling it flocka, but it's not even flocka. It's, it's K1, K2. It's the legal weed. And, they got that real man, look, and this is an epidemic in there, man. It is an epidemic in there. It is. I mean, like, they're smoking, you know, this paper. Um, and it, it's horrible, man. I hate it for the guys because they're in that same trend and they're not going nowhere. But every morning they get up and they smoke this paper and they're getting high off of it. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, God, please get me out of here. God, please. I don't even want to be around it. I don't want to be nowhere around it. You know, and then. They're still in my commissary, my Raymond noodles. They're still in my Raymond noodles, the by flocka, you know. And and I'm sitting, you know, every day I come in, I count my noodles. I'm like, all right, two more is gone, you know. And I'm like, man, I'm like, so I'm looking around. I'm like, I'm like, I know you ain't got no commissary. I'm like, but you're high, so I'm like, so yeah, I'm like, yeah, you stole. So I'm like, all right, let me pray for him today. <laughs> so man, I didn't get mad about it. You know, I just was like, you know what, they got some problems. It's way That's worse. Why they're not mine. letting any paper. Any letters or anything in anymore? Yeah. Yeah. Well, people legal are, mail's different. Yeah, they're because, that paper. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's what they're doing. They're, 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 it's coming in through legal mail. It's yeah. I'm about to tear the whole door. Uh, it ain't my business. I don't care. It's my job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. 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 I don't I think it'd be good to get a testimony video. Like, I think to get get one now from them and a year from now. Come on. Uh huh. Yeah. Amen. Uh huh. I think that'd be good. Does anybody have a belt? Yeah, we got some rum mix. String, baby. Yeah. Rum mix, baby. All right, Pastor. Zip zip tie. Uh huh. (laughs) We'll just just sit stump or something. Let me turn this light on. Get the set stone light down. Zip tie. Zip tie him up. Pray real quick. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time in your presence, Lord. We're grateful for your goodness. We're grateful for your love. Yes. We're grateful for your grace. Lord, we're grateful for your favor. Thank you for shining your favor down upon us through Jesus Christ. Lord, we're just uh, thankful. Help us to maintain this Thank gratefulness you. and thankfulness every day, Lord. Let it just be a posture that we that we dwell in. <laughs> and Father, we just uh, we yield to you this morning. We yield to your voice. We yield to your spirit, to your word. Father, let it not just be words going in, but let the words bring transformation. Yes. Father, I pray that we would we would say yes, Lord. When you say to go this way, we would we would follow. When you say to do this, we would say, yes, Lord. When you say go, we would say, send me, Lord, we'll go. And Lord, we know as we go that you're, you said you'll never leave us or forsake us. We know that you're going to be with us, Lord, and that's the main thing, that you go with us. Lord, help us to grow in the revelation of who you are and who we are in you. And Father, I just thank you just for everything that you've done, everything that you're doing, everything that you're going to do. We're so grateful. So in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 We got the books.
Uh, we are going to go off on a side, some side notes. I love but, it. Love side notes. Hallelujah. So we're going through. Uh, we're going through the walk of spirit, walk of power. We've been talking about purging and mortification. And one of the things that we've been learning, powerful, powerful revelation, is that a lot of the purging that takes place is is dealing with our mindsets. The majority of it is the ways ways that we thought, belief systems, attitudes, right, uh, traditions, and, and getting rid of those things because those are it's by faith that we receive from God, right? Um, and, and and we learned yesterday uh, in the video that by grace we're saved, right? We know that it says that in Ephesians, by grace we're saved through what? Through faith. Through faith. Now watch this. Grace is not just the goodness of God, the mercy of God. We've learned that. We've talked about that many times. But grace is God's resources and His complete equipping. Now listen to this. Grace is not just something that we're teaching on. Grace is a person. It's tangible. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Grace is a person. Grace is Jesus. We're going to look at that in the Word today. It's literally the nature of the Father is grace. Amen? Amen. So it's a power. It's a power. It's a power to not just set us free from sin, but to give us the power to walk in the righteousness of God and making right decisions and right choices and you know uh, everything that the everything that the Lord is calling us to do in His Word. Now, where it says we're saved by grace, so so. Yes, a lot of people in the Greek, the word is sozo. Alright? A lot of people when they hear saved, they just think about going to heaven. And I'm not knocking going to heaven, man. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> right? But, there's something for right now, right here, on this earth. We've been saved. If we're in Christ, who else is in Christ? Everybody here saved, right? Saved. Yeah. Watch this. This is what this word means. Heal. Oh. Delivered. It also means, uh oh, here's that word. Don't stone me. Prosperity. Woo! Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Prosperity. Man. But watch this. We didn't do anything to earn this other than Woo! Believe. Believe. In what? Jesus. 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 Death, burial, resurrection of Christ. <laughs> Jesus. The finished works of Jesus. By grace. We are. We have. This is important. Have been what? Saved. 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 By what? Our faith. Our faith is what causes us to receive it. Through faith. Yeah. Not of works. Why? At least no man should boast. Woo! Amen. Man, if I could, if it was by works, I could say, man, look. Yeah, and if, if we, it was by works that we received it, then not only would we receive that, but when we sin, then we would receive mm. death. Mm. The judgment. The wages of sin is death. That's right. Like the the free gift of God. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Pharisee. That's right. So it, it has to be, the, the wages has to be over. The works has to be over. Mm. So listen, we need to get this renewed, we need to get this transformed to what took place when this happened. When this happened, we were born again. We received a new life and it's on the inside of us and it contains all of this. Amen. And now I've got to get this on board with this. Come on. That's the purging process. All those old, well, I've got to do 
I've got to pray this many hours. I've got to go to church. I've got to do this. I've got to do this. I've got to, you know, do this many acts of kindness in the community every month. And we're just working and we're working and we're working. And every time we do something, we're like, well, I did this. And I did this. I did this. And I did this. And we're just puffing ourselves up. You know, versus just saying, man, Jesus did that. He did everything. And now, I did these things because Jesus went to the cross. He came. He died. And then everything, every all our boasts is in what? Christ. The Lord. Our salvation has nothing to do with our performance. Our performance will have everything to do with our salvation. Wow. T-shirt. Bam. Mm. <laughs> so good. 1999. I hope you're writing this down. I'm telling you, we need to... You got that, Preston? T-shirt. <laughs> I do have a T-shirt folder. We'll add that to that. We need to add that. I like that one. Yeah. That's a good... I might put that... That might be good. our... Ministry Facebook post Straight for from the Lord. Holy Ghost. Say that again. Our our salvation has nothing to do with our performance, but our performance will have everything to do with our salvation. Yeah, you could replace that with works. Make the T-shirt a little shorter. You know, instead of performance, you could put works. Our salvation has nothing to do with our works, but our works have everything to do with our salvation. Amen. I like that. I can dig that. T-shirt number two. Yeah. Gosh. Ephesians 1, 1 through 3. Ephesians chapter 1, 1 through 3. Read King James, please. It says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you. And peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God. Did you say one, one, two, three? Yes. Okay. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly place places in Christ. Mm. Mm. Y'all hear that? Amen. Wow. Let's just come down. All right, verse two. Well, first, you know, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. Amen. Apostles are still for today. But we want to be... Notice that he was an apostle by Jesus. Right? We don't want to... Self-appoint. Self-appoint, you know. And a lot of people get caught up in that And you, when, they, when they talk. I'm, just, I'm apostle so-and-so. I'm apostle so-and-so. I mean, that's good and everything, but I mean, your, your, your life is going to speak yeah. for that, you know? Yeah. Um, and make sure that the Lord is the one that's pushing you and that putting you in the, into that position. Um, and that's very important. Verse, uh, part B of verse 1. To the saints who are at Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus. Notice it doesn't say to the sinners. Mm. Right? Yeah. That word saint, it means holy one. Set apart. Right? It doesn't say to the sinners. And, and as a matter of fact, when you go through and you look at all the letters. Hey, I shall not Jesus. murder pastor. Um, he was pooping on my Bible. Jesus saved him from the word sanctified. Yes. Yep. Hey man, Jesus just made that thought, dude. Saints, saints, holy ones, uh, called out ones. Yep. Yeah. Amen. Hey, last I read, Satan's the Lord of the Flies. Amen. <laughs> <Yeah. Yep. laughs> flies are from hell. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. That was fire. Get out of here, Satan. Saints. Amen? We're saints. We're not sinners. We used to be sinners. Just because we commit an act of sin doesn't make us a sinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And Don't. it's it's funny, the whole language, It's because I'm, I'm in it in Ephesians. The language of Ephesians, like Paul, right from the jump, is saying, hey, I'm talking to you, saints. You've been called out by Christ. I've been called out as apostle. You've been called out as saints. This is who you are. So he, he's, this is it. This is who you are. And then he starts to go into some language about, look, this is what you used to do, but this is what you need to be doing now. So it's like these people, these people were still uh, working on their walk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you, you could just tell by his language. 
he's correcting them in love and restoring them in love and he's giving them you know he's giving them the word but from the rip he's like but this is who you are Amen. like cuz it's a supernatural thing like you Amen. were made this yeah. by you believing when you yeah. believe you were this is who you are you might be met, you might be missing the mark over here you need to get back in alignment with who who you were created to be Amen. and that's where that's what we're doing right now mind renewal and that's key because we lived a certain way for so long we were trained by the world the way that seems right to man you know and it's totally opposite of the kingdom totally opposite and now we've got to retrain this to what's actually taking place and that's what basically what Paul's doing you know he's teaching and I love verse 3 he says blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who's going to bless us with every spiritual blessing. Is that what it says? Or has. Who has yeah. blessed us with how many spiritual blessings? All, every one of them. Man! That doesn't say something that we're trying to attain in the future. It says He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Now I've got to get my... We are spirit. We have a soul. We live in a physical body. My spirit has been made in the image of God. I've been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible seed, the Word. My mind has to be renewed. My soul has to be renewed. That's my mind, my thinker, my will, my chooser. And my emotions, my feeler, has to be renewed to the Word what's taking place when we got saved. Amen? And remember, it's by grace. You know, praying in the Spirit, that's a grace. That's a grace. In the act of praying in the Spirit, you want to do that through grace. You don't want to do that through striving and, and works and stuff like that because not only will you get that badge, you know, I did this. This is how many hours I prayed today or whatever. But you'll burn out. Yeah. You'll burn out. Do it from the wrong place. Yeah. You want to do it all from grace. You know, Paul said, even Apostle Paul, he says, I labor more than all the other apostles. Man, that's a bold statement. Mm. Just to say that. But then he, he puts a little disclaimer on there. He says, not me, but the grace of God that's upon my life. Right, and then he got at one point he started getting into worry and stuff like that, and he was just going through it, and he cried out to God three times, and what did God say? My grace is sufficient. He wasn't telling him just continue, just continue to endure and just go through. He's saying, no, tap into my grace. Don't forget about that. Don't get away from that. Don't try to fight this thing in your own strength and your own power. My grace is sufficient. My ability is sufficient. Everything you need is in my grace. Tap into my grace. Amen? Amen. So, what I love is everything's already been done. I mean, Jesus isn't... When it comes... Just think about healing. When it comes to healing, Jesus doesn't have to come back down from the right hand of the Father and go back to the whipping post and receive those 39 lashes for us to be healed. No, it's already done and now He's seated in those finished works. And now all we have to do is what? Believe. Believe that it's done. When we pray, believe. Mm -hmm. Right? When we pray, believe. Not when we receive the answer to our prayer, but when we pray, believe. And then you'll have. Mm -hmm. So many times, I wait until I get in a bind to activate my spiritual walk. Mm. You know what I mean? And this class has been so helpful to me, you know, walk of power, walk of faith, just praying in the Holy Spirit, just really like we're doing mind renewal to renew my mind. Like most of the trials and tribulations that I go through, it's not necessarily, it's not like it was when I was in the world. They were caused by sin and poor choices of commission of sin. But most of them happen from omission because I'm not right. listening. I'm not, I'm not, like when I'm in the presence of God, like it's like a superpower. Like you are filled with all knowing God and he could say, 
don't go there, don't do that, miss this pitfall. Go the, you know, he, he wants to like completely lead your life. The Holy Spirit, every step you take, every, everything you speak, you know, he wants to do that for you. And then we, what we do is, is we forget and we get ourselves in this big, huge bind. And then we're like, God, rescue me. And it's so many times he said to me, I'm going to rescue you because you're my son. But if you're going to pray, if you're going to pray right now and, and dig into me and press into me for me to rescue you, man, why don't you just do that yeah. all the time? Why don't you just yeah. be with me all the time? Well, I'll help you. I'll help you miss all this. Yeah. Amen. You know? Yeah. And I, I'm not saying we're going to live a life without trial, tribulation, or persecution, but 99% of everything I've ever went through in my life that was hard was me. Yeah, the what? It was me. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Third John, verse 2. Third, third John, verse 2. Ready? Yes. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Mm. Y'all hear that? He says, I pray above all things that you be in good health, prosper in all things, even as your soul, your mind, will, and emotions. Yeah. And it doesn't say prosper in some things. It says prosper in all things. And be in good health. Amen. Spirit, soul, body, relationships, finances. But it's all contingent on what's going on up here. Yeah. Romans 8 says to be carnally minded is death. That means the way we used to think. Those old mindsets. They have to be renewed. They have to be transformed. And it's done through the Word. It's, it's done through what we've been talking about. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Why? Because when we're praying in the Spirit, we're praying the Word of God. Not only are we praying the Word of God, we're praying the specific Word for the specific situation and circumstance that God is working in our life. It's not like we're praying amiss. You know, it says in James, it says... Oftentimes we have not because we pray amiss because we pray according to our own lusts and our own desires. It's not praying amiss. Every prayer can be answered. Every prayer can be tailor-made and every prayer can hit the target, hit the bullseye every time. That's what's so powerful about praying in the Spirit. Our mind is renewed through the Word and we're praying the Word. Isn't that awesome? I love that. I love that. And we're bringing everything right here that's taking place through the finished works up into here. Listen, I love what Paul White talks about a lot. He says, your body is not going to tell your mind what to do. Right? It's the other way around. Your mind tells your body what to do. So if I can renew my mind then my body will get in line. Not saying that we're gonna, it's going to be a perfect walk. I mean, we're still going to have some hiccups, but it's going to get better and better and better and better and things that we struggled with yesterday, we're not going to struggle with today. You know, and things that we struggle with when I first started walking as a believer, some stuff will start falling off. And it, 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 you won't even remember mm-hmm. until maybe you see somebody do it and you're like, oh man, it's been... A while since I've done that, or, or, or reacted that way, or you know, and that's just the power of a transformed, renewed mind. It all starts here. Prosper and prosper in all things, and be in health, even as your soul prospers. And that's what we're doing. Amen. Amen. In Romans twelve one and two. Go ahead, Josh. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. 
And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. So Paul, that word beseech, it just means strongly urge you. You know, he's, he, once again, he's talking to the brethren. He's talking to the church. And just, just a little side note, he starts out Romans addressing the saints in Rome. So, um, I, but I want to say this too, like, because we keep talking about this fine line of works, and so we're like, ah, oh, works have ceased, those who believe have ceased from the works, and then we're always talking about doing this and doing that. Mm-hmm. You know? So we, we just got to be careful here. Uh, to me, this is just me personally. I've tried in my own discipline, I'm, and probably uh, subconsciously right now, I'm probably trying something in my own discipline right now, and you burn out and that doesn't work, and you quit doing something, and the next thing you know, it flares its ugly head or whatever again. But what, what it looks like to me, uh, the, where I've had the most success in sanctification is where I'm in it in prayer, and I'm like, God, I'm messed up right here. <laughs> I'm not doing this right. I've been trying my whole life to get this right. I'm a new creation. I have the mind of Christ. Will you give me the wisdom from heaven through the Holy Spirit? And I'm talking to him in a dialogue, and I'm like, I want to do this for you. I want to do this for my family. I want to do this for the people around me. I want to be better. I want to be the man of God you called me to be. And so I open up this dialogue in, in the spirit realm, and it's not my physical discipline from the military or because I'm a super this or whatever turbo or whatever you know it's it's something that I'm asking Jesus to do for me spiritually the next thing you know I'm reading this and he's like boom rhema and he's like look at this word and I'm like then I'm hungry next thing you know I desire him I'm delighting myself in him and then he just like boom yeah yeah that thing is that thing is gone now hey have I backed off from that and went out of my own will again and that thing reared its ugly head up in me in my in my flesh? Yes, that's 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 happened, but I know that he's healed me because I'm sozo right. I'm sozo saved. I'm completely made whole and I'm delivered. Amen. Right? From that thing, from that from that Amen. old mindset. I'm he's given me the mind of Christ Jesus. And so um if, if you just say, hey, I'm going to get on this diet or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, and you don't mix that with prayer and fasting and, and tapping into heaven, it, it's only going to last a, a season. you got to be tapped in. Yeah. Amen. And as your mind is renewed to this, the body's going to get in line. Yeah. That's right. That's it's right. a transformation. That word... We just read in uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2, in verse 2, where it says, Be not conformed to this world. Conformed means you're allowing the world to shape your belief system. Your world to shape your thinker, your feeler, your chooser. Right? Not the Word. It says, don't allow the Word. Don't be... And you talked about that earlier, Ephesians 2. We were in darkness and we were doing all these crazy things, but now we've been saved and now this is how we're supposed to walk. So allow that Word to bring about transformation. The word transformed is the word metamorpho. And it's from the word metamorphosis. And it's from a caterpillar, which would be carnal mindset, to a butterfly. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You're taking something like a caterpillar that's, a lot of those jokers are ugly as can be, and you're turning it into something beautiful, a butterfly. Right? And it's, man, it's just from reading the Word and just saying, wow, I have the mind of Christ. I come into agreement with you on that. I know I've had some crazy thoughts lately, but that's not me. That's not me anymore. I'm a, and we talked and Dan talked about that yesterday. How the the transformation can come quickly by just simply agreeing what God has to say about you, even when you can't see it. Go ahead. Uh, going through something kind of similar, you know. Like I said in jail, in work release, uh, you know, and um, I had this one 
thought that kept coming into my mind. And I, and I was upset. I was like, hey, why, why, how come Corbin Simmons not working faster? You know, I, I hate her, oh, all this good stuff. But then it, it dawned in my mind that I didn't like that thought in my head. I didn't like that thought in my head. That's how I come to the conclusion where I said that mm. that that aspect of it's not even my business. That's Abel and Miss Sims' business. But it bothered me that I had that thought in my head. And, and I had a little moment where I thought, you know, and I prayed and I said, God, you know, that that extreme shouldn't even be in my brain, in my mind. You know, I ought to be able to pray about it, give it to you, and then me not even have to worry about it, have to even be, waste my time being mad or upset about it. And, um, well, as soon as I prayed about it, I, like I said, I'd come in, and that's when they're like, hey, pack it up and going over to work, at least you're going out of work tomorrow. I mean, just that, just that quick, you know, just when it was actually something that bothered me that I had them two different extremes in my head, because mm-hmm. that's not the way I want to think. That's not something I want bothered, you know, inside my head. I, you know, I've got other stuff I need to worry about, you know, and it, just, it really bothered me that that I had that inside me, that I had that hate inside of me, and I had no right to have it in there. I didn't even have the, the correct knowledge. Um, if she'd spent all day setting up paperwork, talking to y'all, getting everything right for me, but you know, in my mind, I'm like, wow, why is this taking so long? You know, God, I hate everybody up here, you know? But it, it dawned on me that, that ain't just, that's not the right thinking, that's not the right thoughts in my head, that's, that's not even me. I guess that's like the renewing Yes. of your mind. That's a great, that's a great example. <laughs> um, yeah. It's you're, just that quick. Just, yeah. that, just that short. Like I said, tw- less than 24 hours ago, that's the thoughts that were in my head and what I was battling with and what I was praying about and what I wanted to, to change in, in my head, you know, I mean, because I don't really have a lot of stuff going on in my life at the moment anymore. It's kind of a dead halt, you know, and I get to look and say, okay, well, you know, what is it about me that I want to change? And uh, a lot of it is I want to change where I try to get in God's business and make it my business. God's business is His business, you know. It's kind of like a request. Hey, God, can you do this for me? And then, you know, you're supposed to step out of it. You're supposed to give it to God and then totally step back and say, hey, thank you, Lord, and have faith that it's done already. Not that it will be done, but that it's already done. Um, you're so really I mean, blessed, that's, man. Yeah, that's you, got, you got a fresh start right here. Like you Fresh all the way start. Like yeah. You're on the right track, and you, you know what to do, and now you just... Well, I mean, I got some things inside I know, but, of me that's moving and Right, but I mean, you're... you're some thoughts that are just, right. that, that's not normally there, yeah. you know. Like, there, there's some stuff going on. There's, like I said, there's some real stuff going on. Yeah. There's some different stuff, you know. And yeah, like I, I said, get you. Uh, I've been seeking this, you know. Like I said, I was I was on the street, you know, and I was coming I here in the morning, you know, and, and was seeking, and, and, you know, there's still things not right in my life. And, and it was this that wasn't right. Yeah. It that's was, it. It was the renewing of my mind in, in Christ. It's exactly what it was. You know, because I kept on like, man, what am I really truly dealing with and what am I struggling with? You know, and I was kind of just going through the motions and I was like, man, there's something I'm missing, you know, but it, it, it's not really what I'm missing. It's just that spiritual growth with God, that relationship, personal relationship with God that, that was growing. Um, and now I'm, I'm kind of able to sit back and... and and see some things that I, that I wasn't able to see, like the thought process of my mind. Amen. Some of the things I talked to you with the day of court, you know, that I, I was like, I'm struggling with this and I can't stand it, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. And I can sit back now and I'm like, I don't like it, you know. Just like I didn't like them thoughts. I don't like them other things that, you know, I was struggling with. And I'm like, man, I didn't, I didn't like that neither, you know, because you know, I got kids, you know, and I, and I don't want my kids to have to struggle with some of the things I am, or Amen. if they are, Amen. to be able to say, hey, look, well, this is what I did, this is real, you know. And, Amen. And, it's, it's, it, it kind of sucks, but it's kind of cool too, you know. That there, there's some real things going on in my life. Amen. Yeah. This new for me. Amen. Amen. That's powerful. Yeah, we're going to look at that more tomorrow. We're out of time, but you know, part of our spiritual—I'm uh, not going to say battle, but just <coughs> sort of, sort of—it's a good fight of faith. But it says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So it is a spiritual battle, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. And it says anything that, any thought, any emotion that exalts itself above what God's Word says about me or the situation, we've got to bring that thought unto captivity and cast it down. And that's what you did. That's awesome. I thought about something that that we went through a couple weeks ago. 
And uh, <coughs> and this is what I told myself. It's kind of funny, but kind of not. Uh, I said, it is written in the Bible. And I was thinking, well, I don't know what it's written in the Bible, but I, but I know that it's written in the Bible somewhere that I shouldn't be thinking like that. Like, I don't know the direct quote for it, but I know that it's written in the Bible. I remember we had that, you know, that, that talk that morning. I'm like, it is written in the Bible. You know, because, like, not supposed to say, uh, get behind me, devil. You're not supposed to say, what's written, the Word says. But even though I don't know the direct quote for it, I know it is in the Bible that you're not supposed to. As a matter of fact, I think it's John. I think it's in John when uh, uh, let your tongue. I meant to ask you about it. What is it? Uh, I wish I could remember the verse. Let your, your uh, be slow Saint to James. speak. It's yeah. James, slow yeah. speech, Quick slow, to slow to wrath. Slow to wrath, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Now, and I kept trying to think. I was like, man, I was looking through John. And I was like, man, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? And, uh, but it's in James. James like, chapter 1. Three, is it? Chapter 1. Chapter 1, James 6 through 10 or something like that. It's 19. Yeah. Yep. Read the whole book of James. 19. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It talks about your tongue, the whole thing about your mouth. <laughs> so out of the abundance of the heart, which means your soulish man, the mouth speaks. So, right under your nose. Uh, right under your I've, nose. I've been in it now. Like I said, I ain't been in there sleeping. You know? I've, I've, been, I've been in it. You know? I'm like, oh, yeah, I've been where's that? Where's that? The book of James is prime real estate. Prime eating, buddy. Oh, I might get out of that today. Yeah. Huh? Awesome. That's a good. Yeah.